sisters are officially bringing magic candies from Cookie Run Oven Break here to Cookie Run Kingdom. And here's what we know so far. As you can see here in the July 7th update sneak peek patch notes, we're officially getting three magic candies added this next update. These three individuals are going to be for Espresso Cookie, Vampire Cookie, and then also Purple Yam. And if you guys are unaware here, magic candies can grant new skills to cookies or they can obviously enhance and upgrade their current skills. To give you guys an example here on Espresso, this is going to be the magic candy version. Check this out. After the explosion, it creates these giant, you know, coffee pillars that looks to hit every single, you know, enemy in its radius. Very similar to somebody like, you know, Sea Fairy's overall skill. Next up we've got, that's going to be Purple Yam, dude. Check out this chaos. The guy just literally spins in all different directions. Looks like he's got a mega pushback, you know, to his overall skill. And not only that, he looks to be doing a lot more damage and potentially doing a lot more area of, of effect here. So again, very, very nice. We don't see any debuffs currently at the moment, but nevertheless, the skill for the design looks very, very cool compared to what it did prior, and I'm assuming there's going to be a lot more to it that we just can't see. And last but not least, we've got Vampire. Check this out. Single target damage, as always, jumps to the back line. However, this time he provides a debuff, and for me, it looks like something similar to, like, a bleed effect, as you can watch the enemy's health slowly tick down, even after he has left with that debuff being applied, which, again, is going to make him absolutely a monster in guild boss battle again, probably probably bringing him back up to the current meta. And as you guys can tell, all three of those candies are absolutely manifesting their skills into something completely different and or greater, man. I'm 100% excited for vampires overall for that, you know, bleed damage, which looks like it's going to be doing some damage over time for a little bit. And then not only that, Expressos, man. Expresso might be able to work his way back up to the overall meta if his AoE damage does cover the entire board and it's obviously increasing the overall damage out. Output. Already the next thing I want to talk about that's going to be you know crafting and upgrading these magic candies so you guys can get some on day one. The first image we've got here that shows you a little bit more about crafting these magic candies is for vampire as you can see in the top left hand side but nevertheless in the bottom you're going to see all three of the resources that is needed in order for you to craft this you know specific magic candy and on the right hand side you're going to see not only the skill description and how it obviously is modified but you're also going to get a small short clip that shows you in action on exactly how that skill is changed and what it exactly does and not only that guys as you as you craft the individual magic candy you're going to see here that it also has a specific number of upgrades that you can perform as you can see here and that max number that you can upgrade that magic candy to is actually going to be level 30 which is absolutely insane and speaking of those three ingredients that you are going to need to craft that magic candy you can see right here in the patch notes that you will need soul essence sugar crystals coins and each cookie's resonating ingredient in order to craft the magic candy. Okay, so where do we get those ingredients that we need to then craft this magic candy as soon as the game launches? And that's going to lead us into the new world exploration tier called Masters, as you can see here indicated in the top left hand side. But nevertheless, on the right, you can see from stage 4-14, we're going to be getting those resources that we need to craft those brand new magic candies. And last but not least here, guys, that's going to bring us to the magic laboratory the brand new building that we're getting via this update this is going to allow you to craft the you know cookie specific items that we need as you can see here on the right hand side with vampires juice popping up there that's going to be what we also need to craft the specific magic candies for each cookie the next thing they mentioned in the patch notes is when you're upgrading the magic candies there are three possible outcomes super success success and then also fail Upon super success, some of the materials used, the cookie ingredients not included, will be returned and the next upgrade will be guaranteed to be a success. Upon fail, some of the materials used will be returned and your chances of succeeding with the next upgrade will increase. For every 10th upgrade, the magic candy will shift appearances, and then it says additional assigned bonus effects will become active for level 10, 20, and even 30. Oh, so we're getting additional bonus effects here just for hitting those certain level milestones at 10, 20, and 30, thus making the cookie that much greater, and not only that, making magic candies that much more important. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up our video for today, man. I'm absolutely excited for the overall update. This is just 
one feature that they're going to be bringing new for us this individual update and I'm super excited to see how we can manifest and shift our cookies around and not only that just to see how the overall meta is going to shift now that we are finally introducing these magic candies that we've already seen in cookie run oven break. You guys let me know what your thoughts are down below as always. I'm very, very curious to see what you guys think. Not only that, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on the channel for everything Cookie Run Kingdom related. Also, also, guys, I gotta plug it. I gotta plug it. Don't forget we've got a Discord. That link is provided down below as well, man. We are so close to break in 7,000 players. So if you're looking for a cool community to hang out with that do play the Cookie Run Kingdom games and additional games, we would love to have you. But with that being said, guys, as always, I'll see ya on the next one.